So welcome back uh, to this new bonus video. We're going to go to the Soliton Caves and recruit Squill for this one. And this is actually one I have never done in previous playthroughs. But the main thing is you want a lot of fire. So uh, Lark's Flamberg is going to be useful in there. These two are in because we want a lot of magic against the boss himself. Otherwise, it's uh, pretty straightforward. And this one is where we're not really racing against Alf in the middle of the dungeon. We will be basically racing against the clock to beat the boss. So for the caves themselves, uh, that is not it. That's the volcano. That'll be the second one I do to progress the main plot when we get back there. I do believe... Yeah, it's, it's this one. If not, it's the other one in the desert. Okay, land, land, thank you. <laughs> Oh, new enemies over here. I'm going to ignore those. Like Soliton Caves. Holy smokes! It's beautiful! You're right. Wow. Oh, the kids are excited. Me? I'm far too scared to go charging into caves without a map. He brings up a good point. <laughs> You're afraid of some little caves? I'm with Surge. Caves may be pretty, but they can be deadly in a flash. Curiosity killed a cat, as they say. Yes. This is where Squill is supposed to be. I wonder if he's as beautiful as these caves. I wonder if his name is actually Squall, too. Beautiful? It's just a bunch of rocks. But it was all made by nature, wasn't it? It's gorgeous. Nothing man-made could compare to this. Yeah, whatever. Are you really Rex's son? You have far too little appreciation for art. He died when I was a kid. I don't remember anything. Oh, that's not true. Lark just expresses things the way he sees them. That's a form of art, too. I think you're probably stretching it a bit there, Riffia. Yeah, her taste in men is just as bad as Lark's appreciation for art. <sighs> no comment. <laughs> anyway, uh, since we will be back here later, and the main focus is the rogress for these bonus videos, I will just ignore as many fights as I can. Not even a save point over here either. Now, as for the way to go, I'm just going to just kind of going to wing it. I feel cold air coming from the inside. It must be a pretty deep limestone cave. See that glimmering green stone? It goes on as if it's leading us straight to Squill. It's so quiet. The water sounds like it's being swallowed by the darkness. The most beautiful of things making people feel uneasy. Kind of like me. Let's hurry on, shall we? Always the serious one, Rastin. Hi. Bye. <laughs> Well, in this case, uh, just follow the path further in. Well, this is going pretty smoothly so far. A little too smoothly, if you ask me. No sign of any treasure on the way, either. Uh, based on what Riffy was saying, we'll just uh, follow the glowing stones. So, yeah, standard enemies in here. Elementals, fish, bats. And, yay, bees. <laughs> These will be the same enemies as uh, when we come back here later. We'll showcase them then. Oh, hey, treasure over there. Don't want to get that. Okay, I'm going to actually save to the third file here. And get ambushed. Blank us. Impressive. Ready for battle. Yeah, let's get busy then. Yep, hopefully we can get a team attack on the second one. Eat this. Ha, weak spot. Huh. Nope. Looky here, weakness. Uh. <laughs> Ready for battle. Lethal gas, uh, but it didn't seem to do any harm. Let's slice and dice. That is the weirdest looking mackerel I've ever seen. Here goes. Ha, weak spot. I'll do as you say. Coming up. 
Looky here. Oh, that, was, that was a that was bad planning. Darn it. This ain't good. Here goes. Ha! Weak spot. Not like. All right, let's heal that. All right, don't get ambushed again. Ah, or run right into the face of a bee. <laughs> there we go. Cuts the time. Please be careful, ladies. It's slippery here. Thank you, Serge. Kind, kind. We only had Cal oh, young men and rabbit horse Serge join us. Callo, you really are ancient. Lark, he goes making fun of me. No point asking a callow young man for help. <laughs> See if I help you bond with the next progress. Well, you're not in the party, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, much more straightforward than, than a tower. And, well, this place looks important. you made it it wouldn't do if you were killed by a monster on the way here I want to see you die in front of me could have had a better read there Dell personally I'd much rather he died straight away okay yeah uh, when I did Dinos's voice I forgot that, that, actually, what he sounded like so I'll try to maybe got better next time then I could turn him into my undead slave with reels magic Dinos that's horrible you can't control the dead like that Oh, is that bad? Wouldn't you agree that it's better than making puppets out of live ones? Uh, we had this conversation in an alternate timeline. What are you trying to say? <laughs> Isn't it obvious, my sister? I'm talking about you and our father. You tried to make them your puppets to fight against me. Puppets? You were supposed to take over the dojo. Our family needed you. I'm actually surprised that one wasn't voiced. I was the only expendable one in the whole family. Cecile, stop! Calm down! Oh dear. Riffia, why do you have to spoil the fun? They hate each other. You should let them fight. Why do you say that, Adele? <laughs> why? Because I want to kill you all! Adele! My beloved Lark. Huh? Die! Why won't you fight back? Because this is scripted! Adele, stop this! Squill desires to bond with the stronger of us. What? I believe in strength. It was not known to me that there was more than one child of Isa. I must choose which child to follow. Just as you must choose a law. Therefore, I will choose the strongest. Sounds fair. A good old-fashioned test of strength. Oh, no. Do we have to fight Adele? No, we already did that for Rafunga. I will test your strength myself. First, Alf. Attack me with all your power. Oh, that was fast. Now you, Lark. Show me your power. Gotta look sharp here. Okay, we first of all we just need to get rid of some race stones. Yeah, let's get busy then. And basically have I'm one of the magic users. Okay. Uh, do a dual cast of the highest available spells that I can do. In this case I would want a couple level five level threes, but I don't have enough AP for that. We basically just have to beat this guy before he can I think I found a weak spot. before he can heal up all the damage we run at a time. Do or die. All right, and you know what? Yeah, let's get busy. Uh, let's have Riffia just go ahead and 
Go for it. No, sir, it's a few. If you die, I'm not gonna worry about it too much. Must answer my calling. So level three. Double cast on Squill. Following your lead. I will test your resolve. Here I go. Flames consume you. Oh, nice. Yep, uh, this is going to be easier than I thought. <laughs> I'm ready to go. And we'll just finish him with this. Thank you, Riffia. Speed on. Ha. Here I go. Flames consume you. Ba boom! I missed your streak. I'm glad it worked out. Totally invincible. I have decided. My Logos, Surgeon, shall be yours, Lark. <sighs> Thank you. So definitely one of the easier rogues to obtain, if you're prepared. But it's basically just cast your... Chain cast your strongest fire spells. Now, Squill is unfortunately not one of the more useful rogue rests. Uh, he does have inherent water resistance and fire weakness, and uh, boost magic resistance, but I don't think that's as useful as Pavel Sag or the other one we'll be getting from the volcano. Good job, Lark. Yeah, I guess. Alf, I demand that you kill Lark. You've been saying that for what, 20 parts now? Adele. It is not yet time. Then when? Congratulations, Lark. The next one's mine, though. Oh, you got Absent and Rafunga. Two of the best ones. It must be tough to be so popular. First Sergeant Lagoon. You are Sir Alf's vassal and friend. I beg you, save him. Now this makes a lot more sense than when he spoke to us in, in front of the elevator, but then again... What, when was the other time viable in the tower? Well, anyway. Nice work, Lark. Yeah, thanks. It's freezing in here. Can we leave before I catch something? You could catch a cold taking a bath, Nico. Let's go. Why would you say that? Haha, <laughs> calm down, you two. <sighs> well, that's uh, still better than accusing them of being lovers. Then again, maybe they do something that way, I can't say for sure. Anyway, as I mentioned, Squill. Yep, increased resistance and water resistance. Minus fire resistance, water damage to all enemies. But, uh, there aren't a lot of bosses later on that use water attacks. That's one reason why we're getting Pavel Sag and the Fire One, simply because we can, uh, use their resistances quite nicely. But uh, for now, let's go ahead and walk out. I didn't see a map anywhere. That's called a piece of cake, right? Piece of cake. And yeah, see if Lark can two-shot all these guys. They should all be weak to fire. Here goes. Ha, weak spot. Oh, not quite. <laughs> Here's my chance. Eat this. Ha, weak spot. Eat this. Okay, the bees are. Ready for battle. Well, let's get busy then. Eat this. Ha, weak spot. That's it. I'll I got more Oh, Shellac learned. So, we get to see this ahead of time. Up close. <laughs> Way too. And so I just need to remember to have surge when I go to the volcano later on too. <laughs> Actually, Surge and Riffia both have water-based uh, XL axe that will come in handy later on. For that guy. Yeah, I did not see a map. Maybe maybe it'll be here when we come back later on. It's part of the main story. In any case, I'm going to showcase the same discussion cutscene about what's going on in the Republic and get ambushed. Plankton. 
impressive. Ready for battle. Eat this. Ha! Weak spot. That's it? <laughs> hey! That, that should be pretty much the same conversation. Ready for battle. Eat this. Ha! Weak spot. See, the downside of uh, Lark's Slam Bearish compared to his y Hander is it doesn't have the attack plus 10. So despite doing the elemental weakness damage, it doesn't also have the extra oomph on top of it. Not necessarily nice to show off a different weapon now and then. I usually just like to find a good weapon to stick with it. So I've I never uh, been told that's Ready for battle. probably not the best way to play the game, but that's just my style. Hit him now. It's a lot harder to get out of here than get in Ready because it's battle. more difficult to see the enemies. Here goes. Hit him now. Eat this. Hit him now. Well. All right. Yep. Stay away from him. No. 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 Run away. Run away. Run away. <laughs> Alright, should be fairly clear to get out of here now, thanks to the wide passages. And, oop, oh, one way path. I'll get that when we come through here normally on the main file. This is our cutscene? Yep. Bond with Rogress. Choose a law. Use the same voice clips. Lark? Huh? Oh, nothing. I was just thinking. Is it okay to keep this up? When we don't know the connection between Hosea and the Ion Unit. I doubt the Patriarch is oblivious to the Ion Unit's true colors, but the QED's under Senate control. They wouldn't act without Director Greenhill's orders. Ah, the joys of politics. Were the Feldragon experiments just Ignacy acting on his own? That's what I want to know. Even if Rastin didn't know, I wonder if other Ion Unit members did. Was he acting under someone's orders? If so, were they from the Senate? Were followers of North Noirism aware of it? Oh. Maybe we're following Imaginal's law here, but it might come back to haunt us. You're saying that after we save the world, the Republic could turn around and destroy the Empire? Look, Lark, you might not want to see the Empire go down in flames. But to people in the Republic, it'd be very welcome news. What? Calm down. Hey, Ignacy's my enemy too, right? I told you before, deciding who's a friend and who's your foe is tough. Yeah. All we know is that if the Rogress are all taken, then the world will be crystallized. I guess you're right. Oh, that indeed remains the same. Not quite out of the dungeon just yet, but uh, not much else to say. Warp Gem Wood. Nice, nice names. <laughs> That's a Donkey Kong Country level. Admit it. <laughs> Warp Gem Wood. Sounds like. Like a nice gimmick if you ask me. Anyway, let's get out of here and return to the main timeline. <laughs>